prayer to secure your destiny and your future. God's plans for us, his children, are for a better and more glorious future. In Job, chapter 8, verse 7, he says, Though your beginning was small, yet your latter end would increase abundantly. That is God's plan for us, his children. Therefore, I encourage you, child of God, to always put your trust in God. Your future is captured in the plan of God for a good, better, and continually improving future for his children. That is why he says in 2 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 18. But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. God's plan is for our continually improving future, irrespective of whatever. This is why I can boldly say that no believer's future is irredeemable. No, not with God. He says in Isaiah 43, verses 18 through 19. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it, I will even make a road in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. Therefore, in the truth and unfailing word of God, expect a new positive change in your finances, your marriage, your relationships, your career, your vocations, and your avocation. In the almighty name of Jesus. We will be going into prayer now, and I can see a transformation and a positive change in levels in your life after these prayers, in the almighty name of Jesus, the Christ of the living God. Let us pray. Dear Father Lord, our Father in heaven, Lord, may your name be praised. Thank you for your love, kindness, and goodness. Dear Lord, help me to obey and to do your will always, even as it is being done in heaven. Lord, forgive my sins. The sins of commission and omission for all my trespasses, even as I have forgiven those who trespassed against me. Lead me, Lord, not into temptations. Deliver me from all evil at all times, for the kingdom, power, and glory are all yours forever. Everlasting Father, King of glory, thank you, Lord, once again for your mercy, grace and kindness towards me. I come to you at this hour, Lord. For you says in Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 17. But on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Lord, here I come. Be gracious to me their Lord. Deliver me from the devil and his evil forces. Deliver me from destiny's destroyers and manipulators. Lord, let me possess my possessions. As your word outlines them in Deuteronomy 28, beginning with verse 3, and going down to verse 13. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, the produce of your ground and the increase of your herds, the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flocks. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face, they shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessing on you in your storehouses and in all to which you set your hand, and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself, just as he has sworn to you, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. Then all peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods, in the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock, and in the produce of your ground, in the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you as good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, you shall be above only, and not be beneath, if you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and are careful to observe them. Therefore Father, may these wonderful promises of yours be accomplished in my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. And dear Lord, the future and its fullness are yours. You are the all-knowing, all-powerful, and all-capable God. Therefore, 
Dear Father, in accordance with your will and word that you will protect and secure us, your children. I demand of you, O Lord, that you secure our destiny and futures, including myself, my family, my household, and my well-wishers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, in Isaiah 43, from verses 18 to 19. You encouraged me to forget the former things, and I should not consider the things of the past. That I should see you doing something new in my life. That you will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. On this note, therefore Lord, I hand my tomorrow into your able hands for a fresh creation, in accordance with your will to perfect everything concerning me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as your word says in Psalms 138, verse 8. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me, your mercy, O Lord, endures forever, do not forsake the works of your hands. And in Hebrews 13, verses 20 and 21, Lord, your word says, Now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you what is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, in accordance with these promises of your word, create for me a new future, full of glory, power, and honor. In the name of Jesus. Make perfect, Lord, every imperfection that exists in my life, and restore to me every virtue that I have lost. In the name of Jesus. Lord, in accordance with Romans 8, verses 28 to 29, that says, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. For whom He foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brethren. Lord, let all my doings, both my past mistakes and my current misdeeds, be converted and turn around to work good for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I ask for the recovery and restoration of my destiny from every manipulation and misdirection of the devil and his cohorts in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, I ask for the restoration of my glorious destinies and your good and noble plans for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. For your word says Lord, in Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. Dear Lord, send your angels to enforce the manifestation of your good plans for my life by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ, judge with destruction every power and principality that is opposed to the manifestation of your plans for my life. In the name of Jesus, let every evil that threatens my life and future be routed and humiliated out of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thank you. Father Lord, for hearing and answering me. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.